Hello friends, uh, this is Olga, welcome to my channel. I'm a mature medical student and Ukrainian refugee, Ukrainian citizen and of course today I want to tell you some fresh news about Ukrainian war because it's the most important thing uh, that influence on our life and the Ukrainian life and uh, I think life for almost all uh, you know European and other parts of the world. So uh, today Ukrainian army uh, was quite successful. They captured uh, unexpectedly territories on the, uh, so returned, I would say, uh, territories on the Kharkiv direction. Uh, Kharkiv direction and uh, uh, some Russian publics, they, um, they supposed it could happen because they uh, discussed uh, some suspicious activity of Ukrainian army near this uh, town called Balaklia and they supposed that that could be something but uh, like the heads of uh, and the commanders of Russian army didn't do nothing to 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 you know enforce their their um, their, their troops or I don't know and uh, today Ukrainians they attacked uh, in this direction and they captured they fixed on the edge of the city or of the town okay it's town Balaklia and it is really very very important because in the same time our army attacks uh, Russians on the Kherson region which is uh, on the contra contrary side on the different completely side of uh, front line of this war uh, so uh, it's it's Balakli, it's really very important town because it is on the way to Izum it's a bigger it could be said city and it is uh, Izum is very important strategically first of all because it's situated on the hill and to control some you know some hill the top of the hill it's important because from the from the hill you can attack uh, enemies uh, you see much more far and uh, to get to, to you for enemies it's, uh, it's really hard and uh, another thing that Izum it's like a hub for for Russian logistics to deliver everything to arm to the uh, troops on Donbass region uh, from the from the um, Russian territory and uh, so uh, that is that Ukrainian army fixed on the near Balaklia. It is a really great, uh, great uh, success and it should be developed in following. And uh, another thing I could say from the, it, it's Balaklia, it's like on the eastern part of uh, uh, our front line, like northern, maybe eastern part. But a little bit uh, more southern, also a few days ago, uh, I, I don't know if it is uh, Kharkiv region or uh, Donetsk region, but somewhere in this is this place between these two regions, uh, because I don't remember now exactly. Uh, our army they returned to one village called Ozerne. Maybe you could say that it's just one village, and they, you know that Russians they captured. 25% uh, uh, of Ukrainian territory and you return to one village and you talking about this but it is not just one village it is very important place uh, sorry uh, it is very important place because uh, this uh, river was on the other bank of the river called uh, Siversky Donets and it is quite large big river and it feeds uh, Donbass uh, and Kharkiv region uh, by water and it's it's not small uh, river and you know the city Severodonetsk in Ukrainian translation it will be Siversko-Donetsk but uh, it's the same name uh, this river and this town or say maybe city is yes. Uh, so to cross our forces they cross this uh, river and they return the village on the other side of this river on the other bank and uh, from this uh, time I'm I'm watching the news from from the 
war and uh, listening to different experts, I already know that to force the river, to cross the river for uh, military troops while attack uh, the enemy on the other side, it's uh, very, very uh, difficult because uh, while uh, the crossing the river, the soldiers and uh, the equipment and machinery, everything is very vulnerable and the enemy could really very easy destroy a lot and kill a lot of soldiers. So that is the fact that they successfully crossed this river and they uh, captured or better to say return some uh, some uh, part of the land from the uh, for, from the other bank it is very important because it will be like a starting point uh, to uh, for, for other Ukrainian troops to cross the river more and more and enlarge this part of earth and uh, return more territory uh, from this starting from this uh, small uh, city sorry village azerne from this territory so it is also very good like uh, you know like a uh, fix point to fix there and uh, of course i cannot uh, forget about the kherson uh, what happens on kherson region uh, actually i think that in ukrainian mass media now uh, uh, a lot of journalists they try do not tell a lot because the commanders of Ukrainian army they asked do not tell much about the situation uh, in on public um, publicly because uh, in mass media for everyone because not just Ukrainians or rest of the world also listen to this and the Russians also and some they collaborants they also listen to this so uh, in uh, before previous times journalists uh, they capture catch some news and they for some popularity for uh, enlarge the number of views or something or just channels tv channels they start to started to tell about it and actually maybe there wasn't such a big success but in news it was just amazing and uh, it uh, maybe after this uh, uh, Ukrainian army had uh, some problems uh, on the because the Russians they like discovered some of Ukrainian plans. So uh, this time Ukrainian commanders they asked do not tell much about war uh, in the mass media and so the journalists they do not talk about it. They just tell something maybe even less than in the rest of the world. Uh, in Russian publics, in in uh, other international publics or mass media, so uh, we just can uh, hear about uh, uh, some open it and very you know understandable and uh, uh, simple information. What we see from the maps, uh, what is officially told our speakers of the our uh, army. Uh, so they, our army attacks on Kherson and. Uh, uh, part of the Russian troops, they are on the right bank of the Kherson region that div uh, divided also on a uh, few, two parts, uh, right and left by Dnieper river. And uh, mm, of course now they, they these uh, troops on the right side, they're quite weak uh, and the Ukrainians, they try to uh, to say cut this uh, big territory occupied by Russians on at least uh, two uh, parts uh, like northern and southern and the uh, northern part has some connections to some uh, bridge uh, on believe I believe on the Kachovska yes or something uh, uh, it's like a hydro electro station because there's some uh, possibility to fix uh, some bridge uh, and uh, they could have some connection bad but some connection with left bank but the southern uh, part of of uh, uh, Russian army will be completely uh, disconnected to uh, with their uh, main part so uh, now Ukrainian uh, army works there attacks there 
and uh, partisans and people who uh, waiting uh, for Ukrainian army who are inside of Kherson region. Uh, they also activated, they also tried to, uh, you know, do something from inside of the Kherson and to make Ukrainian forces come there. But uh, we, we, we didn't talk uh, much about this uh, uh, today. And um, yes, it's, um, it's kind of a video we, I, uh, sorry, I want to uh, make to you. Uh, and uh, want to tell you about this. Uh, um, I, ho I also have my own some news uh, that uh, I would like to share with you from my life as a refugee, but uh, not today because, uh, because today is quite, uh, I think, uh, already uh, late. And uh, this was a new I really wanted to share with you and uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I'm sure that uh, we will see each other next time. Uh, so I wish you a good day or night and uh, see you in the next video.